and good morning again and we're back i'm back so today what we're going to talk about is shipping and locations and shipping is hugely important in your store online store otherwise how are your customers going to get your products so there's quite a lot i want to talk to you about today which is let me show you the list and i think i posted the list in the section actually hang on uh oh no i got a warning for an update never mind so um here's the list of things that we're going to be talking about and um, as i've said to you before i'm following the whole section the my book in these in these videos so i always have a list of what we're going to talk about next but it does look like a lot it is quite a lot to get through but and i hope i don't confuse matters it's not easy to understand especially if you have different locations but let's without ado let's get to settings and shipping and delivery so first i want to do locations so you remember that you added your um you added your address right webster this is wrong webster webster there you go um you added your address to to this section this is actually a live store and i'm just fixing things right little just baby things you know this is what your customers are going to see on their invoices and some of the emails okay so that address you are going to be seeing here so if this is not your shipping address and um, let me show you just if you missed login i want to show you drop shipping compared to just shipping from your location okay so this is from your location if we look at um touch by an angel that we were working in this is a brand new brand new store that i started this is my address okay um, because that's the first address that we added so now if we want to add another address say I'm going to say Namibia remember this we started this as in Namibia um, Namibia Swakopmund if you know Namibia and I think it's about 8000 and the phone number is I have no idea and the address is I should know the address is my mother's address is just say 200 Sam New German so I want okay so we're going to save that and so you know that this is going to be your um, your default location right and here we can deactivate the location so let's go back and check this out so now we have two locations, right? This is the default and this is the new one we added. So change the default. That's as easy as it gets. Okay. So now I can take this one out and say, we are not going to ship from the United States. I'm going to deactivate this location. Let's go back. So now I only have one location. So if you are look if we are looking at this, <laughs> uh, let's fix this address because Webster, yeah Webster. Otherwise, um, we won't be able to actually use that address in the shipping. Right. So now we've got we've got um, a location. So in this situation here. And I want to show you different locations, especially if you're doing drop shipping, right? So, yeah, that's new. So I have four locations here. And if in this plan, so the, the $30 plan, you only get four locations. If you had more locations, you would have to upgrade. 
but if you're upgrading you're also getting a little bit more benefit with shipping and we'll discuss that a little bit later um, to change your default locations and then you can see all your locations um, that are and you can change these as well you know you can move this set this up I've done that as a um, the, the main location so let's go and have a look now at so we've got our locations we'll just fix fix it on one location so now we're going to start with your shipping and delivery so it doesn't offer delivery we can actually do local delivery okay we'll we'll do that in a minute so the first thing we're going to do is create a zone and then we're going to create the location i'll just want to show you from the beginning what that means okay so this is we have two locations in here hmm. ah okay so we've got namibia Namibia. Hmm. This might not be a good, a good one to set up. No, no, that's okay. Let's think about this. Okay, so if you if this was international, this is international. It'll be different, but I think the same things will pop up if it's local. So general shipping. So your products will pop into here. Okay. So if you're looking at general shipping, manage rate, we already set up the, lo the zone. Okay, I just want to show you the, 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 um, the products. Okay, so the products are going to be attached to each different location. Okay, so if you had different locations like that, I've got one location, one location, another location, another one, another one. So I have added the products to every um, location that they attach to. So if you are, if you're looking at this on on from the product version, you see these products are all for this location. So in every aspect, I have attached a loc a some products to that specific location. If you're only shipping to one loc from one location that's fine you don't have to worry about it but you might have to know about it okay so we don't we don't at this aspect in this store we don't have um, we don't have any products yet set up yet doesn't matter okay because you can actually attach the products to different shipping locations when you're setting up your products or or you can come back to this and set up your products so first touch by an angel okay shipping from there may be a PO box. Well, I suppose there is a PO box. Okay, um, we are going to set up. So this is international or from the USA. You're going to set up d different zones. So if if you're shipping from international from a local country, then domestic is not going to be United States. And domestic is going to be your country. Okay, and then the rest of the world is the rest of the world. If you are creating a zone. First thing you're going to do is creating a zone, which we're going to call domestic, right? Um, I like to do this because I work in different shops. Um, let me see here if I can see it, I think. Yes, so here I've got United States. We are shipping from the United States. Um, from one location we're going to use this as as a one of the locations okay shipping united states okay we can't oh in, in another zone so you see here it's grayed out it means that it's already shopify have um automatically created a domestic united states zone when i set up the um no, 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 add rate. So we've already set up a zone, so we're going to add our rate. So let's go back here again. I want to get it into a, into a normal, let me go into mine, normal shipping situation and not Namibia. Here we go, manage rates. 
So I've got all my products are probably, all my products are digital. I had some t-shirts and stuff in here. So you see all your products pop in. And I took, say for instance, now we're going to ship the mug. Okay. Um, this is your shipping origin. Activating multiple origins. We don't want to do that. Okay. So it's already set up for uh, United States. But I wanted to show you how to set up United States. Okay. Maybe I can get into here. Create shipping zone. No. Oh, sorry. I want to show you what I do when I set up United States. Because there are a couple of states. Oh. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. There are a couple of states that I don't suggest to to ship to because it's quite expensive. If you want to, if you want to send it there be my guest okay you got to decide where your customers are coming from where your customers are and do you want to ship to them is it worth it right so there's Alabama do you want to ship to Alaska some people say no some people say yes American Samoa is an island I really not going to get a lot of business from there Micronesia neither uh, Guam do you want to ship to Hawaii Yes, no, um, it is it is your choice. Um, uh, Marshall Islands, again, an island, you do not want to ship there. Um, you know, the business you get from there is not worth the hassle. It's international, right? It's still going to have to go Northern, Ma Northern Mariana Islands, Puerto Rico, no, unless you want to ship there, again, you know, it's your choice. Virgin Islands, um, ba, 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 and these are also fit. again unless you want to ship that it's absolutely your choice then you have all these I don't see why you should include them I have 52 um, out of 62 states we thought we only had 50 states right so 52 so I always go back in again and make sure that I've checked the correct um, states i will post that the states that i actually use um after we fin after i finish here today so you can see then i have um you set up your rates let's go back to yeah touch by an angel you add your own rate okay and then you decide whether it's set up your own rates or use carrier calculated rates so let's see what it says here about uh can't believe i have to log in again or maybe because i was logged out generally okay so we're going to add a rate so if we're using carrier carrier rates it shows us immediately what we can use okay so i've already set up this is a uh, shop shopify shipping um why is it grayed out? That's interesting. Let me have a look here. Add rate. Edit rate. So, USPS. So you can choose any of these. I've said USPS. And then I've, you've add any of these. First class, check, you know, it's, re it's really hard to understand what these all mean go to the post office and find out exactly what it means first class or look online search research online because first class um, you might not want first class package um, if you're doing media mail um, or parcel select ground so what I have here under because we do statues stone statues um, right name standard okay it's pretty heavy I'm not gonna send it um, standard rate name standard we da, 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 minimum price 50 oh that's interesting based on order price I have no idea who set this up okay add rate 
So I'm going to take that out. Sometimes these things are set up automatically. So let's see here what happens. Ah, parcel select ground. Um, this is never going to go as a small parcel. So we've selected the ground. It's heavy, heavy stuff. Um, automatically shop new shipping when the rates when it becomes available um, you can add a handling fee or a percentage extra um, and I'll explain that right uh, in a minute because we had to do that on some of our other shipping and I'll tell you why so then you can add another rate um, use carrier based you can say okay now I want to use uh, UPS and I want to use UPS ground right or worldwide whatever you want to choose automatic and say done right so now you've got two rates here it just gives your customers more ways to choose a shipping rate oh I've added here the rest of the world shipping rate DHL UPS that was not ground automatic done okay so this I'm going to take out delete and delete so if we don't have anything in the rest of the world if we're not shipping international and um, um, then you don't have to add the rest of the world you just say I'm shipping only in the USA and on in the checkout it'll say we do not ship international okay and then add that to your notes so your customers will know um, if you are add if you are going to add um, international then rest of the world what I would do is I would set up a zone for these products okay these are these are for these products and so you are going to decide say um, I want to do Mexico I don't want to but uh, let's say, say um, or let's say Canada 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 all 13 provinces done okay you can check whether you want to do all 13 provinces right let's do Canada what are the provinces I have no idea about these provinces so you need to know where are you where you're shipping to and where you don't want to ship to okay so no rates then you add a rate and you set your own rates or you set a carrier rate and DHL is worldwide shipping worldwide do that and done okay so create a shipping zone so you have another 240 countries you can set up all different zones all different types of shipping for each different country that you send to uh, so it can get very complicated very fast so what I've done for um, let's see here um, international shipping I have an app and I use these guys for my international shipping which means I have a dedicated account with um, DHL um, and I've set it up through Seth and so if you need any help just let me know I will point you in the right direction this guy is amazing he um, will help you with international rates if you're getting something from overseas sent to sent to United States you can talk to him he'll tell you he'll be find out exactly what you're paying what you're not paying he helps all my customers but so what it does is it gives you really good rates I've done a test with um, a couple of my customers shipping steel um, so I do um, what's it called LTH LTL which is the really heavy stuff so it, if anything's over 75 pounds it needs to go freight and and so you you need to get somebody that does freight in the United States and in Express does freight in, in the United States so if it's over 75 pound and I think 
UPS is maybe at 70. I'm not so sure. Again, do some investigation or let me know and I'll put Seth's email in, in this section as well. And so you can, you can easily email him and he will let you know exactly what it means to do that or talk to me. So, um, LTL and we're setting up that. Okay. So, um, so you have now you so now you've got all your shipping shipping set up i've got one location two zones which remember i did canada and i did united states right so you can also create a new profile which is a custom profile and you're adding products to this custom profile and you create a different shipping zone so there are different ways to set up the way you are going to ship. I want to show you um, how we did the handling fee. So for dust fume mist is a industrial pipes. Um, they light because they are for for fume, for it's, it's not air conditioning but for fume mist and dust. So they're very light but they're very bulky. So when you are shipping bulky things, the sh the post office the shipping um, provider calculated by the actual dimension it's a dimensional shipping weight so you need to know what the dimensions of your product is when you are shipping it which is not always easy if you are dealing with these things it'll pop up in a minute right this is like huge, huge, $10,000, $20,000 for that thing, right? Look at the pipes. So what we did was we shipped a few things. We had a few things shipped from the drop shipping locations. And we calculated that our shipping costs are 45% more than the actual rates. We have the actual rates on here. Let me show you. So it's UPS ground again because we don't do, we don't do next day. Um, automatically available but on top of the shipping we've calculated that we need to charge 45 percent uh, and you know it comes it is like um, you lose some wins some hopefully wins more than what you lose and everybody pays the shipping because they know it costs a lot of money okay and here we are only shipping I think to Mexico I don't know if we're shipping to Canada I must find out Okay, so I'm going to save that. So that's why um, you can hand, add a handling fee. If you are, if you want to add free shipping, free shipping. So local custom shipping, uh, fragile products. So we're going to call this free shipping. And we are going to save it you can add your products to it or not um, we're going to create a zone you're going to tell them what location is shipping from you're going to create a zone um, free shipping uh, USA only in the USA okay so United States and I know I'm, I'm harping on these things a lot uh, I'm not going to ship free to Alaska, okay? Not to Samoa, um, Washington, D.C. And Washington, D.C., by the way, in shipping is a state, okay? Uh, Guam, I'm not going to ship to Guam. I'm also not going to ship free to Hawaii because it's expensive. I'm not going to ship to Marshall Islands, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, New York, North Carolina, Northern Mariana Islands, Palau, ah, I forgot one, Palau, Puerto Rico, that's why I always go and go through the second time, just to make sure I've got every single one of these, and where I do not want to ship to, okay, one, two, three, um, let's see how many, 49, okay, so if I'm looking at, so we're not shipping, we're not shipping free, if I'm looking at free, I want to make sure that um, I choose the right shipping okay so set up my own rate so we're going to call this free shipping and this is what your customers are going to see okay 
price free yeah okay add conditions all right so how am I going to based on order price or on weight okay so if I say I want free shipping who am I setting this up for a thousand dollars I'm just I'm just doing this so if I forget to take it out then I remember a maximum price limit you don't really want a maximum price limit so if you're selling um, $25 then you want people to buy another product to set the price up for maybe $50 or $49 they will actually choose another product instead of paying for a free for free ship to get free shipping it's unbelievable people unbelievable so you know minimum price here I'm gonna make this 1500 so it's totally out of everybody's scheme because I do not want to activate it here but that's how you set up free shipping it's a, another rate okay and it's another zone it's custom so let me just delete 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 the whole profile so now you know how to set up your free shipping all right so local delivery <clears throat> so we will actually do de local delivery this locations offers local delivery so this is when you have a um, when you have <clears throat> say for instance um, her tribe athletics drop something off at a store which is local delivery then people don't have to pay for shipping so um, set delivery radius um, this is Houston we'll say 50 I would literally look at what your radius is like um, yeah local delivery and this is free this is free okay so 20 no 25 say 25 I'll deliver anything in 25 miles okay local delivery checkout the price is so you can set a price to it so um, is maybe set it for free minimum order price really should, I don't know you know make it make a choice deliver information um, um, re delivery um, is within within two days right I have to get it out of the warehouse so put in whatever you want to within within <clears throat> whatever whatever you want to tell your customers local delivery within this is what they're going to see here local delivery within two days and so what I'm going to do is call for next day delivery because you know um, we could do a next day delivery if they call me and they desperately want to get a statue so that's how you set up your local delivery again this is if you want to you don't have to do local delivery ah oh, you know what Nicole <clears throat> so this is a new aspect of Shopify local delivery and so you can also set up local pickup Yeah, why not? Location again, usually ready within 24 hours. Bring your confirmation email when you collect your order. Boom, right? So, um, so now I've got local delivery and I've got local pickup. Boom, baby. Okay, so saved packages. So this is all about um, shipping. And then this is all about your templates and everything, your labels. I want to just <clears throat> tell you about um, different. So FedEx, you have to pay, you have to upgrade your plan to get FedEx. Okay, so FedEx. Uh, hi, I should have logged in as her. Let's go here and then let's have a look at it here. I just want to show you what plan you need if you wanted FedEx. 
because sometimes FedEx is really convenient, right? Connect to ah, because I ha remember th to add carrier calculate rates in the zone where you wish to ship your FedEx. Okay, so you have to do meter number, authentication key. You get all this from FedEx, um, and then you add it into into here. But you need a an upgrade, okay? Uh, if you want to use this, and I want to say ba, 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 activate um, and here's all the actually you know what I'm gonna add this to to the list. FedEx get your FedEx credentials. Um, it doesn't tell you to activate does it tell you what plan but I do know that you need the plan the next level up let's do it here since I own the store uh, leave page upgrade your plan let's see boom so you're currently on basic Shopify which is $29 and you are billed monthly um, change billing period here Shopify locations shipping discount doesn't tell me right but I do know that oh here we go third party calculated shipping rates which we have on the first one and so I, I don't know if it's this one or this one no idea I will let you know um, I have one client going to going to upgrade to um, to FedEx so we'll see how much I think she is on this so we'll see how much she has to upgrade it to get FedEx or if she can get FedEx by the way so let's go back to shipping 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 all right shipping and deliveries so now we've got oh okay so if you are international you will be able to connect to a carrier again Oh, I haven't done a, a plan on here yet. So, say for instance, again, you know, so you have to have all this stuff. So, you have to register your account with FedEx. Then you add all your stuff in here. This is custom fulfillment service. If you have one custom fulfillment service, um, the email will automatically go to them. Um, a lot of people like to control their orders and send them separately unless you're getting 100 orders a day and you can't handle it but you know you should check your orders incoming and outgoing anyway uh, that's what i would suggest so now um we are going to be talking about packages so why do we need to add our packages so you add your weight in your products and i want to see Say, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this video and I'm immediately going to start another video because this is long enough this is all about shipping and then I'll do the packages straight after this one because so that you can when you come back you always know okay this one is shipping and when you want to look at the packages then you can look at another video you don't have to go through all of this to see what we're doing on packages so I will be back in a minute